Hi, welcome to Abraz Around the House. This is our second episode and we're going to be doing a little bit of a rewind on a project that I did about two years ago and um, it is an uh, uh, attic makeover. Uh, we have a, um, an attic above the garage. It's not a big space but uh, we need some more space for storage other than in here in the garage uh, using uh, the totes and things that we have like above uh, the racks above uh, our cabinets here but uh, we we really uh, need more uh, we have a finished basement so uh, not a lot of storage space down there so we wanted to use the attic and so we're going to take a little trip up those stairs into the attic and first of all let's turn the attic lights on Alexa please turn on the attic okay. so it's on and ready for us to take a trip up there uh, one of the first things that we did when we walked up there and took a gander at what uh, uh, what we had in store for us, this is what we saw. Uh, there really wasn't a whole lot of area to store things uh, other than the planks that were put up there and the bits and pieces of uh, plywood, I guess, that were used in construction maybe. And so it was uh, quite... Uh, dangerous if you take one misstep you'd end up uh, landing in the garage and uh, when we were done it looked like this so we're going to take a, a trip through and show you what uh, that process looked like in uh, this episode of Abraz Around the House. <laughs> Let's dive right in to Abraz Around the House uh, Attic Makeover. The, uh, the first thing that, uh, that we did was, clean, of course, clean out everything and get started. And we're going to kind of go through a PowerPoint of, uh, I took a lot of pictures and, and some video clips uh, as, as we did. And at the very end, uh, I'll do a complete walkthrough of, uh, of the attic itself and uh, some of the uh, basic uh, amounts of things that it took to you or took to make it happen such as plywood and two by fours and all that good stuff so uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and and take a look at uh, uh, these images that we have as you can see uh, much of uh, what we were doing uh, was uh, quite challenging because of um, all of the uh, space that was Uh, where you could step through such as areas like this and they had just uh, some pieces of plywood that was uh, nailed down here and there and some p boards I guess to, to span the, the joists themselves. So it's pretty dark uh, in there uh, as we worked uh, through it and uh, I put in some LED lighting at, up top that brightened it up and you'll see the difference there. So when you come up the, uh, into the attic, uh, this is kind of what you'd walk into and uh, very dark, you need a flashlight or uh, some sort of light uh, uh, with you uh, to be able to see anything up there. And of course, there's a lot of uh, spots that uh, would be kind of dangerous. One of the first things that I started doing was uh, sistering together the two by fours uh, so I'd add a 2x4 to every uh, joist uh, to give us uh, a little bit more stability up there. I know it's not necessarily engineered, uh, so uh, as far as comments, uh, please keep those to yourself. It just uh, worked for us as far as uh, the, uh, the engineering uh, aspect of it. We went ahead and I glued uh, using uh, some uh, industrial glue. Uh, uh, we used uh, and, and uh, some lag bolts to uh, to sister these joints together. And we spanned uh, here and there. I spanned some two by fours across. This is the LED lighting above, and this is the beginning of the project. Created a couple of uh, walkways here to kind of work in between. And with the lighting, you see it's a lot different. Uh, able to see. And then I added some uh, some electricity. Uh, this is uh, what you're seeing here, uh, and a, 
put in some outlets. I come in later and cleaned up the uh, uh, the actual wires themselves so that uh, it would be a little bit neater. Of course, this is uh, still working on the uh, the floor joists themselves or the ceiling joists themselves. I put hangers uh, right here, as you can see. Uh, and then I also set along the ledge there. This is starting in the uh, corner. Uh, this is where I started uh, out in the front corner and just worked my way back. Some supplies, liquid nail, lots of liquid nail and, uh, and hangers uh, for this, uh, the, uh, the, jo the joists themselves. This, the ones that we sistered. This opening that you see right here is where I intend to put a lift. Uh, it's one of my next projects, hopefully. Um, and uh, don't feel like I uh, want to always climb that ladder with all the totes uh, uh, over a long period of time. There's some more shots of that. And you can see I've completed a little bit more here. Uh, you can see behind it over here. This is about uh, almost halfway done at this point. Here's a little video clip. I'm going to go ahead and play that. Uh, I think it'll come through. Well, enough of that. That was uh, almost dizzying uh, to watch, but uh, this kind of gives you more of a perspective there. And then this is uh, when I had, uh, I think I, I think at this point we just about completed the floor itself. You can see how we worked around all of these areas and put a, a put a piece of uh, our two by four in the back here, and that's going to be a stopper for the uh, the rollouts that we used. We'll clean up at the end. Another video clip. This would be at the uh, very uh, at the at the completion of the floor itself. Then I start working on the rollouts, and these are an important part of this whole project because. Uh, wanted to make sure that um, uh, that we would be able to utilize all this space back in here and um, and to be able to do that without pulling every toad out and and, uh, and uh, going uh, from front to back uh, these rollouts actually fit perfectly when you roll them out to the middle so they uh, utilize all that space and then they roll out to the middle where you can get to every one of the totes This is a little video clip of that uh, part. You 
you see they roll out and roll back in and then hit that stopper in the back. These are the uh, wheels that I used on the rollout. Uh, as you can see, this, this wheel here is a straight line wheel, and that's the ones I used on most of them because I just wanted them to roll straight out and straight back in. And I, I didn't really want them to move at all because they have that narrow path to go through. And then I used this one in areas that um, uh, I needed to be able to turn and maneuver uh, the smaller ones. I have some that are uh, a little bit smaller that, we, that I have to maneuver, in, and I'll show you where that is uh, in a moment. And then handles to actually uh, pull them out. And these are the, uh, the actual casters that we used. Uh, and uh, this is actually the ones that, that uh, maneuver. Uh, they're not the straight line ones, but it kind of gives you an idea. The inch and a half worked out perfectly because I used uh, the 2x4s, and they just uh, extended a little beyond the 2x4 um, to give me about... Uh, Three eighths uh, to a half inch of uh, of clearance on on the uh, the actual rollout, and you can see I used uh, some scrap wood to to complete these, which was good because I uh, had you know some scrap wood left over from sistering the joints together, uh, joists together. This is a shot of uh, uh, this this particular one right here is one of the ones that maneuver and. So you can see it goes into this little slot here, but these just come straight out, straight out like that, and they come all the way to the middle. Had to, uh, uh, just so happens, I the kind of totes that we had fit perfectly in here too, and so we had quite a few of those anyway. And they're they're really uh, easy to find. Home Depot, Lowe's, uh, those types of uh, stores carry the particular ones that we use. I, I figured it up, and we can get about 75 of those totes up here, and we utilize every bit of that space. Here's a little video clip of uh, that portion. All right. Added a outlet. Uh, this little heater up there. Uh, I was working in the the cold, uh, and it did help knock down the the temperature a little bit. And then, um, or bring the temperature up, I guess. And then this is the uh, outlet uh, that we use, and I have the smart plug there. That's how I'm able to turn on the lights up there before I get into the attic brought in another uh, outlet from uh, upstairs so that uh, I could extend that electricity down to the garage. Uh, so I have different uh, breakers uh, in the garage for all the things that are going on in there. And this is a um, panoramic shot of the uh, finished product. Our project. You can see here uh, I kind of cleaned up the wiring so um, there's nothing hanging. And here it is with uh, some storage actually in there. So over here on this side you see I have some bigger buckets uh, or totes. Those are kind of hard to get up the uh, stairs but um, they do fit. And these are the totes I mentioned. They fit perfectly in between there and uh, we just stagger them and can bring them up as high. This could go one more height uh, high here, but um, so this is what they look like whenever they're pushed all the way in and I can pull those right out and get to the totes in the back and the totes in the front. And this is the other side. We use some bigger totes over there. Here's me uh, working on uh, 
bringing some totes down from the attic. This is before the garage was actually finished. All right, well, I'm going to jump over to a video that uh, kind of gives a tour of the whole area after it was finished, and uh, hopefully this will play through on the sound okay. So here we go. Well, phase two is complete. The first phase was uh, bracing up uh, the joists. Uh, they were all just single 2x4 joists, um, so I uh, sistered 2x4s uh, to every joist all the way across. Used uh, liquid nail bolts to help uh, make it a little bit stronger. And uh, part of that uh, first phase was also um, installing these lights across the top, uh, making bringing my electricity in. Uh, I've got electricity coming in a couple different spots. You got this outlet and I've got this outlet over here that'll actually be electricity for my lift and then uh, I've got these outlets over here. I'm going to show you a heater hooked up to that one right now. Um, and uh, so phase one, that was phase one. Phase two was installing all of these, uh, actually building all of these. Uh, they roll out and the idea being that you can roll one out at a time. Like so. And uh, I can get to all the totes that are on it pretty easily. And uh, bring them over to where the lift is. I can go up and down with that. And then uh, slide them back in. So I've got that each one of these, so, so I can pull this one out, back in. Uh, you can see we can do that now in one, two, three, four, or five, eight, eight different spots there. So that was about, uh, I think I used about six sheets of plywood and about 60 wheels. Uh, about, um, I think, 20, 22 by 4 somewhere around in there for that part. I think I've used about 62 by 4s all together up here. And uh, about uh, 15 sheets of plywood. And I uh, went with a little bit sturdier, thicker plywood um, than before. They just had pieces laying here and there, and you could easily step right through some places so so that's uh fate that was uh, phase two was the was all of the was all of these uh rollouts that we have and i've got these broken up into smaller rollouts and they have swivel wheels where as these just have straight solid uh these have straight solid wheels since they're just going one direction but these four have swivel wheels on them so that I can bring them out and uh, move them out of the way and get to these other two and utilize this space that's over there. Um, and uh, so I'll, use, I'll also utilize that space over in that corner uh, for just some things that I need to maybe have a little quicker access to. Um, and then the third phase will be putting the lift in right there. And that lift will, uh, motor will be mounted up here and pull the lift straight up so that I can uh, bring things down into the garage uh, back up here without carrying them up that ladder right there. So that's the uh, current status of the attic project. Um, looks, uh, looks pretty good. And I'm going to start uh, bringing up the uh, totes that are down there in the basement from Christmas and all the other stuff and see how much space we end up taking up. So.
that's where we're at. All right, that was a grand tour of the attic makeover. So hopefully um, there's something there that will help you in your project if you're working on an attic. And uh, so I'd like to uh, thank you for tuning in to this episode of Abraz Around the House. Have a great evening.